In this session, we're going to have a look at creating a new project from start. So once we've opened up Visual Studio, I'm using Visual Studio 2015. Yours will be very similar, may have a different color scheme, but it's much the same. And what we're going to do first of all is actually go to File and then go to New and then Project. So when we're starting a new project, this is where we go. Now, once you come in, it'll default to C Sharp if you're using Frame. So head down until you find Visual Basic. Click on Visual Basic and make sure that Windows Form application is highlighted. We can then give our project a name down the bottom here. So in this case here, we're gonna have a look at maybe Perimeter Calculator as one of our first projects. And you can browse it through to the folders. If you're using Frame, you need to look at the workflow on Frame. Otherwise, save your project where you would like it. And this will create a folder and within inside that folder, it'll actually make about 42 separate files. So make sure you put the folder somewhere you can get access to it later. So I'm gonna click on OK. This then opens up to a default window. If your toolbar isn't there, click on the, the toolbars and then pin this out. And one of the most basic toolbars we'll use is the common controls and these ones here are the main ones that we'll actually use for our projects. This is our form, so you can actually stretch that out. Over here we have our inspector or our Solution Explorer. We don't really need this at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is slide this up to give us more of our properties window. This window here is really important when we're putting objects on and naming objects. So one of the first things I ever do whenever I create a new project is click on the actual form and you notice there is form one here and we can actually change the text. So what I'd like you to do is come over to the text and actually put your name here. So I'm just gonna put Earl Marsden and that allows me now to have my name at the top of my project. Another thing you can do is if you go into the actual double click and go into the form, this opens up the coding area of that form. So you actually know form loads, that means if this form loads, it will run this code in here. I don't wanna worry about that at the moment, so I'm just gonna delete that out. But what I would like to do is put a single quote in, which allows me to put a comment, and then I can put in programmer, and then I can actually put my name there as well, okay? And then there's some other details we can add later. So this is actually putting some internal documentation with inside my application. So I've labeled the form and I can go back to the form here. And also I can actually put some internal documentation as well for my code. So now I'm actually ready to add elements to my stage. But before we go any further, we wanna save our project. So I'm gonna go head up to file and then I'm gonna click on save all. Because we've opened the project before and we've told it to save somewhere, it's already set up the folder structure. By going File, Save All, we'll save anything, including the code as well as the GUI form. Once I've done that, I can then go up to File and Close Solution, and that will actually close that application down. And next time I come in, I can actually go to File and go to Open, and I can go to Project Solutions, navigate through to the desktop, Visual Basic Projects, where I had them listed before, and there's my perimeter calculator folder, and there's the file that I created before. Notice my name is in here, and also the code's ready for me to go. So this will actually help you start a new project and also help you create your very first application.